Hey guys, today I did a look based on Sofia Vergara's makeup at the Golden Globes, which I really loved. She wore a beautiful navy dress and a beautiful like chocolate brown, um, bronzy, smoky eye. And I loved it because it kind of um, really played off of the navy and the dress well. So I think that her makeup really complemented her dress a lot. And then she had some really bold fuchsia lips, which I really liked too. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. It's very, very simple. This is probably like the simplest brown smoky eye of all time because it's really only using one color and highlight shade, but it's very simple. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see exactly how I did the look, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a base. I'm going to use like a bronzy brown. I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in... What is it called? Bad to the Bronze. This color is so pretty by itself. And I like to apply um, these cream shadows most of the time with my finger. Or you can use um, a synthetic brush. I think that synthetic brushes work really well for them. And this is from... This brush is an E60. And it's a part of that Bunny collection where they did all the synthetic brushes. I'm not crazy about these for powder eyeshadows. But um, they work really, really well for cream. Alright, so the main color that I'm going to use is by MAC, and it's called Make Your Mark, and it's one of those uh, big pro longwear eyeshadows. And I'm going to use an E25 brush for this. I'm just going to get the brush straight into the product like that, so that I coat the tips of the brush like that. And start dabbing it right along this outer um, corner, so that the most color goes there. And then as most of the color comes off the brush, I'm going to start sweeping it inward a little bit. I want to cover the whole lid. But I want the color to be most intense on this outer corner. And you can kind of move it into the crease like that. And then you can take the side of the brush and get the product in there. Start sweeping it inward along the rest of the lid, all the way into the inner corner. I like to take that same brush with just a little bit of product on the end and dab it off on your hand just a little bit so that you don't get too much color on there and start making kind of like a winged shape. You don't want it to be too harsh, you just want it to be very soft. You just want the color to look like it's pulled upward. And blend around the edges. Then I'm going to use a smaller brush, it's the E20, and take that color right along my lower lash line, sticking super close to my eyelashes. I'm going to take that all the way in. Next for my highlight, I'm taking this shade called Carefree. It's that same Pro Longwear formula, but it is amazing to highlight your face and your eyes as well. I love it so much. And I'm using this E70 brush, an angled brush by Sigma. Um, tap it off a little bit so you don't end up with so much. You don't want the inner corner to be super light. You just want it to barely be brightened up. And then I take just a teeny bit underneath my eyebrow. For my eyeliner, I'm also going to use a brown. I'm using this MAC Fluid Line and Dip Down and an EO5 brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to trace a very thin line along my upper lash line. It should blend right into that brown. It's really not even super visible, but it's just going to kind of pull the look together um, and that it's going to make the base of my eyelashes really come together like there's not going to be any spaces at all. Same idea with a lower lash line, except this time I'm taking a different kind of brush. It's an E15, which I love for lining my waterline. It's really great for tight lining. I'm using the same eyeliner, and I'm just going to kind of go in above the lashes and make sure that there are no gaps. So you're kind of tight lining here. It's getting on the waterline a bit. I'm not doing this to cover up my waterline or focusing on that. When I line my waterline, I really focus on the eyelashes because I'm more filling in space there rather than coating the waterline. Then to really finish everything up, I'm using my Armani Eyes to Kill Excess. This is the one that is in the blacker, more shinier tube, I guess. has a different brush. Um, pretty similar to the other one in formula, I find. Uh, but the brush is a bit different. You get really great volumized results and it's very lengthening. But I find that the formula is just a little blacker, and it just makes a more dramatic effect. Okay, so the rest of the face, like on the cheeks and on the lips and everything, was kept very pink, and the lips were very fuchsia. So I'm going to show you that in a moment, because that was just as important, I think, to the look. And I'm using this Benefit Hervana powder on my cheeks. 
because I don't want my cheeks to be super bright and my lips to be super bright. Um, this is really pretty. You can see. It's just a bunch of colors kind of swirled together. And I'll apply that to my cheeks. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow that I used in the look, the Carefree, and apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. And this is the F05. Just a little brush, whatever you got. And it's just going to add a little more glow since this is kind of like a more special look. And for the lips, I'm going to use a product that's very pigmented, that is a little brighter, um, a little darker. So what you want to do if you don't want it to transfer so crazy is to put down a lip balm first. And I just used this uh, Revlon lip butter, these color burst things. And this is called Sugar Frosting. It's pretty colorless. It's, it has just a little bit of a pink frost to it. And then my lips, I'm actually using this. It's called Politely Dashing. I think that's what it says. I can't really read it because the stamp's over it. It's a really nice, bright fuchsia. Alright, then to keep it from looking so flat, because honestly I feel like that lip color kind of aged her a bit, you want to add a gloss that maybe has a little bit of a lighter frost to it, just to the center of the bottom of your lip. A little to the top. And it just kind of gives it some more depth and keeps it from looking so, like, flat. Um, so that's the look. I really like it. I hope that you guys do too and that you'll try it out. I think it's very glamorous. I absolutely loved her look. So I hope that you guys will recreate it yourselves. And I will talk to you all very soon.